Uh, we're reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every one may receive the things done in his body, according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. I'm praying it's not bad. Um, he titles this, The Master Assizes. Paul says that we must all, preacher and people alike, appear before the judgment seat of Christ. If you learn to live in the white light of Christ here and now, judgment finally will cause you to delight in the work of God in you. Keep yourself steadily faced by the judgment seat of Christ. Walk now in the light of the holiest you know. A wrong temper of mind about another soul will end in the spirit of the devil, no matter how saintly you are. One carnal judgment, and the end of it is hell in you. How many bad decisions have we made? And uh, Drag it to the light at once and say, My God, I have been guilty there. If you don't, hardness will come all through. The penalty of sin is condemnation in sin. It is not only God who punishes for sin. Sin confirms itself in the sinner and gives back full pay. uh, No struggling or praying will enable you to stop doing some things. And the penalty of sin is that uh, gradually you get used to it and do not know that it is sin. You know, we just get so desensitized and we don't even realize we're doing wrong. No power, save the incoming of the Holy Ghost, can alter the inherent consequences of sin. But if you walk in the light, as he is in the light, walking in the light means for many of us walking according to our standard for another person. The deadliest pharisaism today is not hypocrisy, but unconscious unreality. Yeah. Yeah. Now this was written a hundred years ago. Um, really? Mm-hmm. I just... It just seems like so many people are living in an uh, unreal world, I guess, you know, just Mm -hmm. nobody wants to be responsible for their own actions, you know, just, I say nobody, we know that's not true, but um, it just seems like a lot of people, you know, just want to place blame someplace else. Um, what are they going to do when they appear before the judgment seat of Christ? There ain't going to be nobody there to blame anymore. Walk in the light now, here and now. And the judgment seat will be, we'll be looking forward to it, you know, if, if we're walking in the light. If we're walking uprightly according to his word. Um, but it is easy to... <clears throat> Yeah, allow your temper to flare and and not rectify it. Right. You know, that's that's the bad thing right there. It's not coming to terms with that, taking responsibility, um, setting it right, if an apology is in order, or just setting things right. You know, um, but don't don't let don't harbor on that. You know, don't let that take seed in you and. Before we know it, bitterness is there, and and we're heading heading down a slippery slope, the slope we don't want to take. It's true. Yep. So, I I can encourage us to, and I know we all try, to to walk in the light, and just just keep keep His word. You know, before us and and live the very best we can according to his word. Mm-hmm.
Okay. 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 Let's pray. Mm -hmm. Father, we love and praise you today, and we just thank you so much for your goodness, Father. And Lord, I do pray that you would help each one of us, Father, to live according to your word. And help us to help us to abide by your word. And help us not to to fear the judgment seat, but help us to, you know, if we're living according to your word, then we look forward to to appearing before you, Lord. Mm. Father, you've been so good to us, and we just thank you so much for your goodness. Father, we give you the praise and honor and glory today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.